Hey folks, let's make up some lead ingots so we can make up some buckshot and bullets. Got a lot of old school stuff in here. I worked for Goodyear for years. I've been a mechanic most of my life. Retired mechanic now. Waste bucket, steel, zinc, anything else that uh, that I don't care to to mess with. Wheel weight bucket and a bucket over here. This guy nothing but stick on weights which is pure lead but uh, sorting out I keep a keep a pair of pliers here to if there was anything that I wasn't sure about I can just pinch the edge of it with the pliers and see if you can mash it you can mash it that easy it's lead it's not zinc or anything else if you were to let me see if I can find a piece of zinc or steel I see something like this yeah, see, something like that, it's pretty obvious. I can barely mark it. See, and I got, these are long handle pliers, boys. I can get some leverage on this. I pinch the fool out of that, and see, I can just barely mark it. It's probably zinc. But most of the stuff I tend with to make sure. Now, so you find stuff like this. So this is stick on wheel weight. Look at that, where it's just been hit with a tool or something and mashed up. That's why the boys at the tire shop couldn't use it. This is pure lead, real soft stuff. I keep that separated. Apart from the obvious stuff, whenever you see the, the tab or the lock is actually welded to the unit, to the wheel weight, you know that it's steel. But there's a lot of old school stuff in here too. And that's what I just pull right off the top. Stuff that I recognize real easy is good stuff or lead wheel weight. If I run into something like this here that I'm not really sure, it's a lot of the, there, there is some newer stuff. I've been away from this for, for several years. And so if I get something I don't really recognize, see, didn't recognize that. It's barely marked it. It's probably zinc. On we go. The more old school stuff that's in here, like this, that you know what it is, it's just regular lead wheel weight. And it takes a while, but it's a beautiful evening out here in creation. And I just, I get out here in the evenings, listen to the chickens and all that carrying on, and it's just nice steel magnet comes in handy here too boys if uh, if you wanted to to check this stuff with a magnet see I wasn't sure about that but see how easy we bent it that's that's pure lead and it's just that time of year I do love Golly bum, I do love this time of year. Deer season is in. It is finally cooling off around here. And it's about time for me to go shoot another big fat doe. Uh, the bucks will be rutting here before long, but we ain't been seeing a lot of bucks. Um, the new farm, we can't shoot them. And uh, at, the, uh, at the leases, we just ain't been seeing much, but you just don't know. Whenever, whenever the rut starts, a lot of times the old buck's gonna move in. If you got does, if you got does, the bucks are gonna move in. Folks, you want to get your wheel weights in your pot early, uh, because in case there's any moisture on these things, because 
I got I had a big hunk of alloy that a buddy had sent me and uh, and the only way I was gonna get that into an ingot I'm not gonna get that into a lee pot not as big as it was so I was gonna have to melt it down but get your lid wheel weights in there early in case there's any of them that are a little damp these should be dry as a bone but yours may not be and if they're a little bit damp that heat as it's heating up will evaporate all that moisture off before uh, our lid starts pooling in here what tools am I using folks you see it's just a old general turkey fryer set up it's that's my most efficient way of doing this and that's a pretty big steel old steel cooking pot I like using it because I got plenty of room in it whenever I do this stuff I like to make it happen as fast as I can make the process go just as fast as I can make it go yeah we got stuff moving it is probably starting to pull boys I like multiple sized ingots these things they sit outside I don't keep them stored up make sure they're dry you don't want any moisture pulled in here whenever you drop molten lead in here This muffin pan here, this old steel muffin pan, pours like two and a half pound ingots. This one pours like one and a half, one to one and a half pound ingots. And this one right here pours, oh, oh like eight ounce ingots in, uh, in that cast iron. All depends on your needs. I like multiple sizes. Sometimes I gotta add a lot, sometimes I don't have to add so much. Just gotta be ready for any of it. That looks good and clean.
I have already sifted through all this. This is nothing but, I may have missed one or two, but that is all wheel weight. And that's just from, you can't beat years and decades of experience. That's my, my wheel weight stash. Um, and uh, had a buddy get me a half a bucket of wheel weights the other day. And in that half a bucket, which now this is some I was sifting through yesterday, half of 50% uh, was wheel weights. The other 50% were steel, um, zinc mixes of other alloys that wheel weights are made out of these days. It will hardly ever be 100% lead. So this is stick on wheel weights. I keep those separate because this is 100% soft lead right here, boys. Um, it's got to be. If, if you stick on wheel weights, see, you got to be able to bend it real easy. And so the, the alloy has got to be very, very soft. This is great for your pinch on fishing lead. And you may want to make your slugs out of 100% pure lead. And there's a lot of times that uh, I want to thin the mix. The wheel weights by uh, general, uh, in general, are 4 to 6% antimony and 10 is already mixed in with your wheel weights. Some of your very old wheel weights will be almost pure lead. I run across a few of those every once in a while, but not a lot. Uh, so if I wanted to get it down to 2 3% antimony and 10, I will throw some of the uh, stick on wheel weights in there to just thin it down. Makes the pellets real pretty and all that. They're not quite as hard, but I do water drop mine. So uh, you don't notice it as much. It is a beautiful mid-70s fall day, but uh, it is a beautiful day. It is a little, uh, we got a breeze blowing. That is ideal when you're out here messing with this stuff. It is toxic. It is bad for you. Just be careful. That's all you got to be. Okay, folks, there you have it. I appreciate y'all riding along with me through this little short session of how I make up all of my uh, ingots for my buckshot and stuff like that, folks. I'm no metallurgist. This is just how I do it. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. We'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.